actually want to share with you how you can add a quick FAQ to your WordPress website. So we're going to go ahead and hop in. I'm using a local hosted version of WordPress here. Go ahead and log into your admin. And when you log into your admin area, you'll want to go to plugins and then add new. And once you go to the plugins page for adding new, we are going to look up uh, or search for rather the ultimate, I believe it's called ultimate FAQ, not FAW, but FAQ. And so we will allow for it to search and it's searching the WordPress uh, directory for plugins and so there it is ultimate FAQ and you can see they also provide um, a couple of other plugins for reviews as well as product catalog but go ahead and click install now for the ultimate FAQ plugin and it'll install and once it installs we are going to click activate and it should activate there momentarily and then we'll hop in and start um, Actually, I said FAQ. There we go. So it did install, just took us back to a different um, area. But nevertheless, go ahead and click activate. And once it activates, then we'll jump in and begin. I'll just show you some very high level uh, features. I'm not going to do a, a deep dive or any of that. You can use um, any of these that you want. I'll just go ahead and just do like a test and then you can type in a description. Uh, you can add the category. You can add as many um, categories as you would like. And so there's the test. Here is a test two. Um, and then it'll add that category in there. And then you can go click next. And then basically this is like you know just regular old Q&A style um, how to add a FAQ FAQ to WordPress website and let's just make that how do I and then we'll say use the ultimate plugin then you can select what FAQ category that is. You can add that FAQ in, and then um, you can do that a series of times just using um, this easy tutorial here. And then we basically say, hey, we need an FAQ page. Go ahead and create the page. And then from here, you can toggle on um, you know, what you want to see. So you can basically say only one FAQ is open at a time um, you can group FAQs by category you can group by create date title or modified date and once you do that you can save those options click finish and then that's that and then they have a whole slew of other options that are there that we're not going to go through um, right now but nevertheless what we will do is we're going to add, I'm going to go to menus, and I'm going to add FAQ to our home page now. So I'm going to add it there, save that menu, and then when we go here to our site, we'll refresh. There should be an FAQ that pops up. There's FAQ in the menu. You click that, and there's our FAQ. And so you can, you know, click to expand. Um, and then what I what I'm going to show you just here quickly is how to remove all of this stuff. That is one thing that I know that most people will want to know. And so let's go to FAQ options. And so you can go about this in terms of all the options. You can turn on comment support. Uh, you can show editor help. Um, and basically what I'm doing is going through and setting all of these different things. I'm going to click save. 
and essentially now when we refresh most of this stuff is going to disappear and there we go now we don't have the comments we don't have any of the the other distractions if you will now if you want it to you could actually have the question um, have the date have what the answer is and have the category type if you want it to the category is already there so I don't necessarily know why you want to you know list it there as a part you could also add in the comments just in case you want it to actually promote um, almost kind of like a, a question answer uh, I guess you say thread and so you know you could use this tool for that as well uh, but all, all that being said I mean you can add as many of these questions that you want and they would appear one under the next just like you see them listed here if there were a new category it would be another category and then the appropriate FAQs that are assigned to that category so that's it I hope you find the ultimate um, FAQ plug-in to be what you need in terms of adding FAQs to your website like I said they have many basic options they also have a premium um, option paid option and so you can see that you can begin to change the FAQ display style, number of columns, uh, and on and on and on. So definitely feel free to look at it. I like the freemium version of this as well. Um, I've used the premium version. I mean, there you can do a bit more customization, but really for what um, I'm using it for, ultimately, hey the the freemium version works so let me know if you have questions or comments feel free to drop them below the video as well subscribe to um, the YouTube channel here at kickstart commerce and um, also feel free if you want to know more about digital strategies you can go to kickstartcommerce.com in the right hand column there is a sign up uh, form there and you can sign up there to be notified of the latest and greatest uh, tips and disciplines as it pertains to digital strategy and so uh, like I said I hope you find this video to be helpful and be on the lookout for the next tutorial video which should happen uh, or rather be delivered next Wednesday so thanks and that's all for now